everyone and welcome back to Colette's Marine Tank. I'm um, here today I'm doing an unboxing video on something very very exciting for the new tank. As you can see I've got the Red Sea Reefer 350 litre um, behind me. It's currently running on a um, Red Sea uh, uh, LED 90 um, currently um, but that was something that I did want to change out in, when the time was right. Now the time is right, I have received a Reef Flare Pro Blue Large um, that I am going to be popping over the top of this tank now. I'll be taking this one down and then um, going to show you an unboxing video of what comes included inside this box. And also I have ordered the mountain arm that goes on the side um, so I can also show you that um, and I should be able to show you how to install it and then there'll be a separate video all together on how to set up um, the light and also how to get the um, app and all the different channels that you'll have. Um, so I'll go through all of that step by step for you um, over three lots of videos and there will be a review at the end of the... Um, I'm going to give it a little bit of time before I do a review for you all so that I can give you an honest review um, of how I feel these lights are over my tank. Um, so. Let's get started today by unboxing this amazing new light. I'm going to try and show you on camera. Just open the sides first and then hand it down the middle. Okay, I'm going to do it like this and I'm going to balance. Start off with some tissue paper, clean that up later. Okay, so inside this is the box. I'm just going to take it out now instead of uh, trying to balance that on my knee. Oh, it's actually heavier than I thought, you know. have the Reef Flare Pro L Blue Smart LED Lamp as you can see. And now the reason I've gone for this one in large is because it actually has 240 watts within this one lamp and the there is a medium one and there is a small one for different size tanks that you'll have. Um, but for me beforehand I was going to be using two of these Red Sea LED 90s um, which are 90 watts and to do that obviously that's only 180 watts of lighting over the top of the tank whereas this one bar alone is 240 watts so it made more sense to actually go for this with the mountain arm um, and it'll actually look nicer than having two above this one tank so um, I'm really excited to try this one out it's lightweight in terms of the actual light itself the box is a little bit heavier than I thought it was going to be but um, in terms of a light, it's small and thin, it's not too chunky. Now these lights aren't chunky as, as they are, but this one looks a lot thinner. Um, and from what I've seen in the shops, it is thinner, so yeah, excited. Now this um, device is actually online controlling. Um, it does give you an alarm if the light is not working. and um, it's controlled by the Smart Reef app, um, so I'll go through all of that in the next video, like I said, on how to set up. Um, but the other reason why this lamp is one of the best out there is because they have actually designed it um, currently with the efficiency being in mind, um, with energy bills going up, they wanted to make sure it was the most efficient light that they could give you but also the most most powerful and um, so it is actually known as being the most powerful marine LED light um, out on the market at the moment so that's a massive um, advantage point when choosing a light um, that Reef Factory have over a lot of others and um, so let me just see how I open this next part okay here ah, it's literally just a lift up Okay, so I've lifted up this sleeve. This is what it looks like now. It's a 
violin is amazing. <laughs> so yeah, it comes in three different lamps in the one um, sleek compartment. It's black gloss underneath and then it's matte black on the outer shell. I hope you can see that from here. So actually, it's the box in itself that is quite heavy. Lifting that back up, that's heavy. This, this light, has got absolutely no weight to it at all. I'm really shocked by that. Um, as you can see on top, we've got the fans. So we've got two fans included, and then obviously a wire that goes into the control plug um, underneath. So, wow, I'm really, really impressed by the design. It's really sleek hoping you can see this on camera. So even in comparison to the Red Seas, which are known for being a sleek light, that's quite a lot chunkier in comparison. Um, yeah, really happy. Okay, so one other thing that came included inside the box is the quick start guide. Um, now this just explains that there is a magnet that is inside this box and the magnet is used to reset your device um, and shows you where the power socket is that's attached to the light. Now this actually comes in seven different languages for um, for everyone worldwide um, to use so that I find really really handy as well. It's always good to see that there is a, a multiple of languages within your instructions or startup guides. Um, so let's go in with what's next out of the box. So I've just taken the next part of foam off this la next layer. Um, you've obviously got your power cable here, your magnet that they referred to to reset your device, so I'll need to keep that very handy. Um, and then here is the massive power pack, which is probably where the weighty part of this box came from. So very deceiving. The light weighs absolutely nothing in comparison um, to what the power pack will, but the power pack will be hidden behind, so you won't even see that. So that's great. Okay, so the next video, like I said, I am going to be showing you how I'm going to set this up and it over the top of my tank um, and I'll give you some more tips on the reasons why I chose this device. Okay, so firstly, I'm just getting the um, arm, these little prongs that come out on top. So they go to one side, there is four screws that go into four holes on the inside of these. I've not yet tightened them because I've not yet checked as to what height I would like my arm to be. Um, I'm about to put this onto the center middle of the tank. I've moved that light up just so that you can see what I'm doing. And then um, I will then attach the actual light to the top of here. And there is a little piece of acrylic that goes in the middle of the light and this piece of metal here and two screws so it's so simple so so simple um, so yeah I'm going to show you guys that now okay so I've come across it's not a problem but the next part that I need to explain to you all the next part is that when you want the mountain arm to be in the center of this light bar and um, you have to take off the fan cover and um, it slides off really easily I just got a um, little screwdriver and just just ever so slightly tilted it up um, so I went in like this and then it lifted really easily and um, so that has popped off right okay then there is a little um, joining bit here for the screw and that slides across to wherever you need it to and then I'm gonna pop the fan cover back on like so there you go okay um, so yeah so it then sits right in the center here and then that is held on by the center of the arm and um, so initially I looked at it and went no that can't be right that can't be right it can't just be on that side and that side when the arm is in the center and um, but yeah so I figured out that this gets lifted up and then it goes to one side Okay, so I've managed to get the mountain arm up, as you can see here. Um, like I said, you pop these two over the back, you've got four screws on the back, and then there's just these two screws at the top, at the front, sorry, here, um, which I've just, I'm just gonna make sure it's as tight as they can possibly be. Here we are. That's not going anywhere. 
Okay, so that is now currently in the centre of the tank. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit for you to show you. It is over the top of the tank. There you go. And now all I need to do is get this little piece of acrylic. I'm going to show you now. I can get the little bag open. There we are. This little piece of acrylic here is going to go underneath here and that protects the light from clashing against the metal and then the light will go directly under the screws will go into the piece of um, plastic and then straight into the top of the light and the two screws come in another bag that comes with um, and I'll link it. Okay everyone so the mounting arm is now up as you can see and the two screws go into the acrylic on the inside here and then directly into the light and once you've moved those two brackets I've moved both on either side of the fans um, into the centre and then screwed into here. Now one thing I would recommend doing is actually attaching the light before it's over the top of the tank because I did it the opposite way around from any other person that would have done it um, so it was a little bit <laughs> nerve-wracking I'm not not gonna lie and um, it was also very difficult because I was trying to do it above a tank so yeah so I um, I was kind of on the stairs which was a great thing to have at that point but yeah um, all I can say is do it not when it's above the tank do it beforehand um, yeah so as you can see it's all up the moment I turned or I plugged it in, it came up and running. So I am going to show you a step by step on how to set the um, light up, but the great thing is that it's usable from literally the moment you plug it in, um, which I've not had on any of the lights before. Um, it's always been a case of you need to get it connected to Wi-Fi, then get go through your tutorial, start an account, um, all that sort of stuff before you can actually um, go ahead. So yeah, it's obviously not on the setting that I would potentially want to use. Um, it's a little bit light, white for me, um, but we will change that and I will show you how to set it all up and, and the end goal. Okay, so um, I hope you've all enjoyed the unboxing video and how to install the mountain arm and light today. Um, there will be a next video coming up that will show you exactly how to use the smart app and also setting your different channels um, as well as explaining a little bit more detail what comes with the light um, and the spectrums, par, all the rest of it. Um, so please watch out for the next video. If you do enjoy my YouTube videos please go over and hit the subscribe button and um, thank you very much for watching. I also want to thank Refactory um, for the opportunity to work with them um, on, on this lighting review. Um, we are going to do a full review when I've had a chance to use the actual light itself for a little while. Um, so take care guys, thank you.